Hey everybody, this is Ivan Novik from the Green Plum product management team. And today I'm going to talk about the differences between PostgreSQL and Green Plum. Their Green Plum is based on Postgres and it's very similar technology to Postgres, but it's different. Primarily it's different because it's a massively parallel processing system. So whereas Postgres for the most part, well, pretty much entirely runs on one computer, one VM, one cloud instance. Greenplum is a distributed system, which is massively parallel and it runs across a cluster of systems. So it can run on 10, 20, 50, 100, 1000 machines or VMs or, or instances and run one consolidated database with bigger scale data. So that's at a very high level, but let's talk about seven technological internal aspects that make Greenplum different than Postgres. And I've got them on my notepad right here. So number one is the optimizer. Why do we have a difference in our optimizer is that when a SQL comes in to Greenplum, we need to generate the lowest cost query plan, but we need that to also include the fact that the data could be distributed across a hundred different machines. So this is fundamentally a more complex problem than an optimizer on a single node. We need a mass, we need to account for data distribution, data movement, data joining in our optimization. And so we have really a, ma a major technological ex uh, extension with a lot of published research papers about our green plum uh, Orca optimizer and why it's different and than Postgres and why it's needed for a massively parallel data warehousing uh, query optimization. Next, um, once a query is already queried planned and it needs to be executed, we have a, a component in Greenplum called Dispatcher. The Dispatcher is responsible to send the query plan to all the different instances over the libpq or the TCP IP protocol. So that is a unique technology part of Greenplum, which is an additional aspect that's not included in Postgres, that's the query dispatcher, okay? Now, once queries are running, and for example, you need to redistribute data between uh, virtual machines or between instances, between physical machines, then we have what's called an interconnect. The interconnect is part of a query plan and it's part of the query execution, and it's software that will, that will stream tuples through a query plan and in between the different machines and the different um, Postgres segments as the query is being executed. And the reason for that is that um, you may be doing a join or the data needs to be reorganized in a certain layer, it needs to be combined. And so we need to have an interconnect that can send data between machines. So that's a unique component that's added on top of Postgres. Number four is a concept called distribution or distribution keys. So when you create a table in Greenplum, you create it with distribution keys. And what that does is it enables um, algorithmically to define at the DBA level, how to shard your data. So um, when you, let's say you have a, a, an orders table or sales table, and you define one of the columns as the distribution key or, or a composite key of columns, that will enable you to it'll enable the system to know where the data lives. So it'll, it'll hash, the, um, hash the data and every row will be owned by a specific Postgres instance algorithmically by looking at the row, looking at the data in the column, you can determine which Postgres segment it belongs to. And that, that avoids having a name node or something that um, is high overhead that helps you to distribute data. It's algorithmically distributed. Number five is the storage types. So in Postgres, there's one primary storage type, which is heap. That heap type is used to, it's the file format, it's the, the storage access layer. In Greenplum, we have an append optimized storage layer, which can allow for data compression and it can also allow for columnar storage. So that's another unique aspect of Greenplum, which is really important for data warehousing which is to have our own storage types that are an extension in addition to the heap storage for OLTP, which is optimized for data warehousing. So 
the append optimized and the columnar storage are unique aspects to Greenfoam. Number six, number six out of seven is the inbuilt and managed write ahead log replication. So Postgres has write ahead log, write -ahead log replication, but in Greenfoam, when you deploy a Greenfoam system, it automatically configures primaries and mirrors. So if you have a thousand primaries, you'll also have a thousand mirrors, and the Greenfoam system will organize that. So all of the shards are automatically mirrored. You don't need to set up replication. You don't need to worry about high availability. The system itself will organize the Postgres thread head log replication, administer and manage that for you so that you have um, fault tolerance, high availability, and we have a fault tolerance system that can detect when machines or Postgres segments are down and, and help to manage that automatically. So you have a highly available system. And the number seven is the, the Green Plum extensions. We have a wide ecosystem of extensions that add to the core Green Plum server. And these are primarily things built for analytics and data warehousing. And um, they add value to the end users who want to do anal analytics use cases as opposed to transactional use cases or data warehousing use cases as opposed to, as opposed to tra uh, transaction use cases. These things include things like Apache Madlib for machine learning, um, PXF for data lake integration. So if you want to connect and uh, integrate with uh, Hadoop or S3 Hive, this data lake integration layer with PXF. We have a Spark integration layer, which allows you to stream data between Greenfoam and Spark through, through parallel data transfer. We have actually a streaming server um, layer and a streaming, a streaming server technology, which can integrate um, Kafka data in real time into Greenplum, so you can do real time ingestion of data from Kafka into your data warehouse. We have um, a command center, which is the administrative graphical user interface. We have um, a containerized programming language execution environment so that you can run um, Python code or R code in Docker containers that are customized for analytics. We also have a unique backup and restore framework, which allows for multi Postgres segment consistent backups. So we organize PG dumps in a orchestrated format. So when you do a green plum backup, it can PG dump everything atomically from the same viewpoint. You're not getting one table at one viewpoint or one table at another viewpoint from one machine. All of it is, is within a transaction atomic. So these are seven of the big things that are different from Greenflow and Postgres, but Greenflow has been built over 15, 20 years and has many enhancements to take that Postgres core technology and bring it to the data warehousing and big data use cases so that it can really be used in that context. And we continue to integrate Postgres, continue to enhance the data warehousing, bring the best open source data warehousing experience to the entire worldwide ecosystem of users. So hope that explains the difference between Postgres and Greenflow. And Go for it, enjoy Green Plum, and you won't regret it. Thanks so much.